In the summer of 2006, my father had brought home some discs that doesn't look like your typical Windows installation or anything that says Microsoft on it, but instead brought home an orange disc with the words Ubuntu 6.4 LTS on it. And at that time, I wasn't sure what I was looking at or what it even does. So I decided to give it a try and put in the disc into the DVD drive of my computer back when I was in middle school and to my surprise it just boot up and I didn't even have to install the operating system inside my hard drive. It was a totally different thing. Instead of using executable files you get your programs from this thing called repositories or dev files and in some instances you have to type in a few commands on the terminal to even install software at the time. But the thing that also had shocked me is the fact that it was so customizable you can add remove and even change out a couple of other things around so as someone that came from Windows or have been used to running all my games and programs tried to get one of them working but to my disappointment it didn't run out of the box and so I was wondering why it didn't and it led me to go online to look up what I need in order to get one of my programs working at least so I had to go to this website called Crossover, which I had found in order to get my problem solved at the time. It was one of the options that I had found. I was able to run mostly paint programs and basic applications and not so much of my games that I would like to play, although I've made my attempts but with no avail. It wasn't until a couple of years later, around 2011, is when I became proficient enough to run Linux, modify it, install my programs, and vice versa, and even to a degree do some editing, rather it's audio, video, or even running some of my basic programs, and to a degree I have managed to run some games, and even then it still wasn't enough to fully daily drive the operating system that I was using at the time, in which I have tried out Linux Mint, which had made life a lot easier to really make the transition more doable and even went as far as trying to modify it and decide to create my own distribution out of it or at least an attempt to do so thinking that if I just add all these extra features and all the things that most people would possibly need in order to be able to use their computers perhaps they might want to use this operating system but little did I know it wasn't that easy and the way that I was doing it was well to put it this way I I was an amateur at the time and I decided after my attempts to making this usable I kinda gave up on the idea sometime after and focused more on what I would use the computer for and a year after my attempt to creating my own operating system out of an existing one I had switched to Arch Linux which had actually became the de facto Linux distribution of choice when it comes to customizing my system and making making sure I only include the software I choose without needing to have unnecessary bloat that most other Ubuntu based distros would be adding. And surely I could have tried other distributions and I have done this thing called distro hopping where I keep changing from one operating system to another and I keep doing so because one software that I need stopped working and the other one, although it did work for a while, updates were no longer being pushed resulting in me having to uninstall everything or remove that drive and I ended up reverting to Arch as it has not failed me even though I have broken some systems during the time and for a while I've been back and forth between different Linux operating systems and Windows up until I decided to just run only my most important software on Linux around 2018 and use Windows for gaming around 20. 21 I have delved into uh, the idea of using a virtual machine called QEMU in order to be able to run Windows inside Linux in a more native approach without emulation and it had worked I'm surprised that I'm even able to run some of my programs
programs and even 3D accelerated ones inside a virtual machine through a second graphics card in order to be able to pull this off. Although I have tried virtual machines before with something like VirtualBox over a decade ago prior, QEMU just works a heck of a lot better as I have more direct hardware support and acceleration. So in other words, it took some time for me to actually use Linux despite the fact that most people are either not familiar with it or had flat out made their opinions based off of what they've already tried in the past, which is kind of a shame because Linux actually solves a lot of my problems as well as a bunch of other problems that other people might be able to use Linux for. The only downside would be the fact that most of the mainstream programs, including the industry standards, just won't support Linux or flat out refuse to do so. So I'm guessing it's only a matter of time until a lot more people gets on board or something really got them to want to move from either Mac or Windows in order to use Linux. So figuring out which Linux distribution to go on is going to be another challenge in on itself for the new user. I believe it also depends on what you're going to use a computer for. What are your needs? Maybe you want to do something specific and in some instances if it's just web browsing you can get by without ever leaving the desktop or even touching the terminal if all you're going to use a computer for is browsing the web or even typing in some word documents if you're working at the office or even watch movies or videos or listen to music or even communicate with other people in which a large majority of the most popular programs for the most part has native Linux support already. But again, my recommendation if you do have plans to switch to Linux for whatever reason, it doesn't necessarily have to be because of privacy concerns or because the latest version of mainstream systems are spying on you. Other times you just want to have something that works and Linux is a no-brainer. Now it has never been a great great time to use Linux as your new desktop. To the point, this video that you're watching has been created all within Linux using programs like OpenShot, Audacity, and even grabbing some stuff over the internet on a web browser without ever using Windows, not once. Even a large portion of my channel, I've done all my live streaming and editing, even VTubing under Linux. And you don't even need to be an expert. And and it'll even work on older systems, basically reviving old hardware to give it some extra use. But that's just my experience with it and I'll continue to use Linux and recommend it to anyone that wants to use a computer. So give it a try and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Till then, this is LR7 talking about how I got into Linux and logging out.